Yo, yo, new freestyle from your boy DC. Let's get it. <laughs> yo, you see this game and shit is real. Goes back to the days of the NES. Goes back to the games you stress, the games finesse, and the games that you best. Even the games that gave you the test. Mega Man used to give you the stress. Mario used to burn you the best. And even now, that nigga still is the best. You ain't never gonna put him the rest. You know, I just gave you the best. You know, my rhymes are straight and finesse. You know what I do, cause I'm the best. My name is DC19 Motherfucker 3, and I know what I do is the best. Now let's get to my video and see what I gotta say, cause I know I'm the best. What's up, people? It's your boy DC19 Gaming Tech. Alright, so. Nintendo Switch sold out. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, and according to Reggie, Reggie said that they are not artificially doing the numbers, but then again, that's a PR spin. Who knows? He can't officially come out and say, yeah, we're gonna do this to increase sales. No, no one in the business aspects of things would do this. Sony, I mean, Nintendo is known for doing this though. You know, um, even Microsoft did it with the uh, Xbox One S, one, uh, one terabyte. So, this isn't something new to gaming. Basically, and the NES Classic, make something seems like it's sold out to increase sales, to make people feel that you can't get one or anything like that. It's a PR thing, and I don't see the problem with it because it's obviously a smart business move because what's the one thing people do? If it's something you can't get, you want it, you go out, and try to get it any way you possibly can. But there are some people that feel that this pre-order sellout doesn't mean anything because the Wii U did the same thing. And to be true, honest, yes, it did. Um, but it wasn't sold out everywhere. If you remember back then, there were people that was in Philly, people in California said that they could find this thing with no problem. People, uh, some Game Stops in, in, in that area, people were able to pre-order them. Some people were able to just walk into Walmart and get one at that time. So, I mean, even I, when I went to go pick up my Wii U, uh, it was sold out in one or two of the Best Buys close by me, but the, Wii, the, the one that I was actually covering at that time when I was with Sony actually had them. So, that I understand what they're saying with that, and I'm not trying to take a spin-off on it, but at the same time, here's what these people didn't do. Apparently, none of them do research. I mean, Google is the fundamental thing for learning, understanding, becoming one with nature. I mean, and I know that's weird. I mean, becoming one with the internet, be finding certain things, helping you learn, whatever it is. But some of these people fail to want to do so, and I don't understand why. So, DC, where are you going at with this? Okay. Now, Reggie said he's not inflating the numbers. Um, and if you go by it, they said that they're only going to have a, there's a rumor said that they're going to only have 2 million available at launch. So we'll see. But at the same time, here's what the cat, the, the, the hardcores don't understand because I'm a father, I think as a casual and as a hardcore, because here's what they forgot. What was the big problem with the Wii U? Other than third party, what was the big problem with the Wii U? Parents thought it was a peripheral. Even GameStop's employees didn't know what the Wii U was. They had no idea. The, the name was terrible. They dropped stock tremendously. Nobody, literally nobody knew what this thing was that was on the casual side of things. Only we, the hardcore, and the actual Nintendo fanboys knew what that was. Also, in the lifetime, um, in the lifetime, um... YouTube previews of the, the Wii U from Nintendo, it only hit 11 million, or I think 11 to 14 million looks, right? This thing, on the other hand, has 25 million. It's not even out yet. In the lifetime of the Wii U, looking, likes and dislikes, the Wii U only hit 14, I think 11 or 14 million. You can look it up on YouTube. Then even if you look it up more on IGN, I think IGN was only 11, GameSpot I think was like 7, but the Nintendo Switch, 25 million alone on Nintendo's site, on Nintendo's YouTube channel. But, let's, let's go, a little go a little deeper, the likes. So there's no PR mix-up, no one thinks that this is an add-on, nobody thinks that this is a 
uh, something you add with your Wii U, the entire name does not call Wii at all. It's Nintendo Switch. They're marketing this thing completely different then their impression, their online impressions are way more than anything. Even sites that didn't cover gaming that last gen is covering it now. So again, I'm not predicting the future. I'm not saying that this thing is gonna sell out, but you cannot go in thinking that it's gonna be the Wii U all over again. You can't think that it's gonna be a people don't know what it is uh, people don't know what games is going to be. It's not something you could take with you because that was another issue. Parents thought it was something you could take with you. Parents thought that you could take the gamepad and that was it. But now it's officially different. But, I mean, that's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, again, Google is your friend. And I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, people, this is DC19 and 3 Your Gaming Tech. Tell me what you guys think about this. Um, and again... I mean, some people say that within a year and a half, this thing may sell out. And I understand that Nintendo says that they're not going to kill off the uh, 3DS. But why would anybody that owns a business that knows that people are still buying the 3DS say, yeah, 3DS is going to die off sooner or later and, you know, everyone's going to go to Switch. That would literally kill off their, Switch, their, their 3DS selling business, their add-ons, any of that stuff. So as a business person, why do you think they would do that? Anyways, people, again, like I said, it's your boys, DC19 and 3. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out.